Hello folks and welcome. KDE Neon 52710. Today I'm going to talk about an alternative application launcher. I'm going to minimize the other one for a second. So these are fully resizable icon sets and you can also move the search field to the bottom. You can also change these buttons to lo log out and uh, switch user. There's a lot of customization. You can move this box around. You can resize it also. I'm just talking about pressing that. And you still have your alternatives, your dashboard and menu. All I'm doing is converting the application launcher. It's a tool. And um, you can probably tell that my icon sets are not standard and neither is my mouse cursor. And if you're curious about that, I'll talk a little bit about that toward the end of the video. Not too much, a little bit. All right, I am filming, let me get the preliminaries out of the way, 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. You're watching this on Linux for seniors. Linux is for any age, but more importantly, that's the name of the channel. I should have an icon floating above your time and date if you'd like to subscribe. If not, go find me on YouTube. I had a user just leave me a message in the last two weeks that they watched two of my videos and they didn't see that subscription logo. I informed them they were watching my video on someone else's channel. You should always see that subscription logo if you're on my official channel. Add Linux for Seniors is uh, one word that you can put into your web browser if you're looking also really quickly in your search field. Or you can go to YouTube and look me up. 312 videos and I'll come back to uh, this statement right here. Gnome-look.org is where I got this mouse cursor and the current theme that I'm using which in this case looks like that. Okay, so let's talk about this guy. Using a tower computer, so my keyboard is a wireless keyboard with a start button. Some people call it a super key or a Windows key. And I'm just pressing it instead of clicking that. Okay, so in your Discover Software Center, your icon will look different. Um, we're going to look for this particular tool called Resizable Application Launcher. It's a long word. So take a good look at that and you'll find it if you hunt for it. It's a plasmoid and more importantly it's been around since uh, 2022 and it's made for Plasma 521 or higher. Is it a perfect tool? No. But it's uh, an option that you can install and you can always remove it. And this is what it does. Now, when you first start, you know, my configuration button's at the top and it does this. However, the tool, when you uh, install it first, you should log in and out of your system for one. And two, if you are using the dashboard or the menu, then switch to application launcher. Okay. The other thing is to right click and hit configure application launcher. The first thing I want to show you is the tool itself for the configuration box. Normally this is set this way. So basically if you click that and you click that um, up here, you'll just get this effect. All right. And if you're good to go with that, then just right click and do all your configuration by right clicking the plasma icon, configure application launcher. Now that's up to you. However, if you want to have this directly, then you switch this to configure application launcher. And then when you open this up again, whether it's clicking or you use the super key, then you can click that and you can do your configuration from there. So let me show you some of the options in here. So first of all, since I'm using a weird looking mouse pointer, this one is my resizers. It uh, turns to two boxes and then I can move the medium back and forth. Of course, depending on the mouse pointer you're using, those uh, would be slightly different. But these are fully resizable on both sides of the house. So it's done through here, done through this setting right here. The grid icon size, I'm going to reduce both of them to almost nothing to give you that example. And I'm pressing down on the start key. So now you can see how small they are. Let's go with something more reasonable. It's more likely the reason that you installed this tool. Okay, if you're good to go with that, if these are still too big for you, and we can resize those again a little bit in the opposite direction. 
the list icon size. I think I can live with that. Don't forget these are movable. Okay. So my favorites are bigger than the rest of these icons, if that makes sense to you. Now, two things about this box itself. You can resize it by clicking and holding your mouse. I'm using a standard wireless computer mouse. Click and hold, and it goes into the resizer box. So you can resize the box itself. Okay, and then let go of it. If you wanted to move it around, you can hold down your start key, your super key, hold it down and then click to move it us around to wherever you want to position it on the screen. Once you've got that done, you can click on that or you can use a super key or start key. If you don't like the search feature on the top, you can move it to the bottom. If you don't like the power keys and you want uh, session buttons, we can also convert those. Let's start with moving the search field to the bottom. Header in bottom, strange name. Now it's at the bottom. And now your power buttons are at the top. Click, session actions. And now it says switch user, log out and power over here. I'm going to switch the header to default, which is down here, like that. Now you have those over here. So again, this is your choice on how you want those. I'll choose power. And now I can shut down my system right away or restart it. Or I can log out. Now, anytime you install this tool, you should log out of your system and log back in. Anytime you change your mouse cursors or icon themes, you should always log in and out of your system. Okay, again, this is all configurable. Okay. Lots of little options in here. So don't forget, pop, go into your uh, shop and find that tool, Resizable Application Launcher. All right, for the folks that are curious what I'm using, um, I'm using a manually installed mouse cursor called Empty Butterfly Yellow VR5. It's a see-through cursor. You can actually see right through it. Okay, and it has weird resizers. The icon set is called Gently Colored Light Icons. These will not be found on your system, and I will show you a website where you can get these. I'll give you some more examples if you like. I'll go to the opposite extreme and pick the candy icons to give you a taste of this. Take a look at my panel bar and my menu. Slightly different, isn't it? Yes, all of my icons are different. All right, I'm gonna go to icons and again, I can pick anything I want to from here. So I'm going to switch those back and hit apply. These again were not done by get new icons. They were installed manually. I just need to close and reopen that box. So it does a screen refresh. What should we always do when we change mouse cursors and um, icon sets? Log in and out of your system. Okay. Again, our user for today is Betty. It's just a made up name. So inside your file manager are some hidden files and folders. Hamburger menu, control H, very common command with all modern Linux file managers. I created that folder manually, dot icons, period icons. What's in there? The butterfly, this mouse pointer. Now, since this is a plasma desktop and not a gnome, sometimes on a gnome and XFCE, I throw icon sets in here also. <clears throat> but since this is a plasma desktop, Dot local is where those icon sets need to go. Dot local share and icons. If the folder is missing, do an F10 or right click create new. Uh, keyboard equivalent is F10. All right, if your F, F keys are pre assigned on your laptop, for instance, then just uh, right click and do it the manual way. Or hit function F10 or something like that. Anyways, icons. 
one, two, three, four, five themes. One, two, three, four, five themes. So they're all installed in here. The nice thing about using your file manager is I can uninstall these in two seconds. All I do is hit delete. So where did I get these things? Hopefully you're a subscriber. One more time, Linux for Seniors is the name of the channel. At Linux for Seniors, all one word in the search field on any web browser, you can go find a link to my YouTube site. At Linux for Seniors, all one word. Or you can go to YouTube and look for Linux for Seniors. 312 videos and growing. A couple of things about me as far as uh, my mission statements. Videos are for our uh, Videos are also for any user of Linux, regardless of particular age. GNOME-look.org is one website you can go to. I have another one here. And uh, this XFCE-look, you're probably picking up on a common theme, dash look. Yes, they share databases. 839 mouse cursors, mouse pointers. I'm sure you can find a thing or two. There's a nice search feature at the top. And full icon themes can all be done by latest or ratings. The candy icons you saw earlier, as a matter of fact, I have it installed already. They are listed right there under dot local share icons. So you would literally download these from here and click on that file and allow it to download. Both those dash look.org's websites are now having sponsors, and that's a great thing for the developers. They're giving them a mini tip. It doesn't cost you anything, but this person is sponsoring the developer. So in other words, they're getting a mini tip. It's a wonderful thing to see because a lot of these folks spend a lot of their time and effort to create these things. There's a lot of folks in the Linux community that do stuff for free. They end up in your download folder and you just uncompress them. Right click, extract here. They extract into a nice container. You uh, cut them and you find your dot icons. If it's a cursor, mouse pointer, they go into dot icons. If it's an icon set, they go into dot local share icons folder. Again, if it's missing, you create that folder yourself and you place it in there. They should all be in nice containers. There shouldn't be scattered files in here. Same thing goes with your mouse pointers. You should never see scattered files in here. If you do, there's something wrong. Something didn't install properly. Most of the time it's people are installing stuff through here. I normally don't do that. I normally install them manually. I uncompress things in my download folder and I literally cut and paste them into the appropriate folders where they need to go. Thank you for watching. 